All right. It's video time again. So I'm glad to be here to bring you a video about these piping tools. Pipe tools. Um, <clears throat> I don't really know how to use these tools personally, but uh, I've sold a lot of them over the years. I know they're good. They're a high demand item. I wanted to, we have several different pieces this, uh, that we've got out right now. So I want to make a little video to try to get somebody so you can see a little better uh, what we got. And you can see the condition of it. All of these tools are used. Um, and there's two different sets. It's all probably being sold individually, but I'll break that down as we go along here. Um, first off, we'll start out right here with this, this uh, rigid. There's a rigid 341. There's this tool. I want you to see the condition. I'm going to try to pan over it, which connects. It's a 341. I believe that's called a reamer. Uh, rigid 341. If you're watching this, you probably know there's a lot of uh, other brands, but rigid seems to be the best. You got your reamer. And this one here is a rigid as well. I think that's called the carriage. It's model number 311, rigid 311 and 3, 311 and 341 goes together there, the carriage and the reamer. This is a Toledo brand pipe groover, model 975. You can see this is something that I really want you to, uh, I really want people to get a good look at this. Because, like I say, I don't know how to use these tools. I saw on some of the ones I looked at online, looks it has looks like it has another piece that goes up here that maybe is like a handle that could be missing off of this. I don't know how that would. Uh, I don't know what difference you know that makes for someone. Um, how easy a handle is to come by if you have one. This, that, and other. I'm trying to show the condition. I try to pan over it. If I missed anything, if you need any other pictures, if you need something close up pictures, please let me know. I'll do my best. <clears throat> but again, you know, you can see, you can see I'm turning that piece. And it's rolling back there. Next is this. I think this is called a pipe cutter pipe cutter now this is in night really nice condition in my opinion it's obviously is used but it's a rigid 360 pipe cutter and they make different models of these but this is and I again I don't know the work but this appears to be one of the better models um, of even the rigid rigid even has different numbers of these but this is and I know sometimes there's other pieces that goes on please see the pictures of this this is what it is um, all of these all of these right here these items I've showed you just now um, came from the same place they appear to be <coughs> definitely used but it does appear to be well taken care of well uh, in my opinion that's my opinion these were wrapped up pretty nicely and then we got these two die heads and they also came from the same place as well and they were wrapped up pretty nice as well. I'll show you that this goes. Let me show you that lever goes back and forth right there. That's the I guess this is the back side of it. You can see that those those cutters in there really appear to be really nice. I mean it they frankly they almost look brand new. In my opinion. I've had those and if you know this. I've had just those pieces before, and, and as you know, they, they sell for a good little chunk of change as well. Just the four inserts right there. You got one, two, three, and four where they go. I guess they line up just ever so great with each other. This is the rigid number 811A. I think that's called a die head. 
with the cutters. Those are dies. I got some packets over here, pipe dies. Now, I don't know what size this is. That's, I know these run into different sizes, but as you can see, um, if there's an easy way to tell, maybe somebody can pass that along to me. I'll check for you. Um, be glad to do that. This is open. But that's your, uh, I want you to see the quality of those. Of those cutting part because those look new to me we had those one time and they sell real good here same thing i would assume this possibly maybe is a different size um i just now noticed this is okay okay so this 811a the first one i showed it shows one eighth to two inches this one here I think it's the same model, but it's a one quarter to two inches. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. Both of these are the same. It says one eighth to two inch pipe and one quarter to two inch bolt. So that's what both of these say. These are both the 811, rigid 811As. And I noticed about this one, the dies or the, I'm assuming that's the cutting part. I'll show you this. To change your dies, you turn it right there. I don't see how they come out. I'm not gonna mess with them, get my hands dirty and trying to run a camera and a computer and stuff. But I'm trying to get you to see this a little bit better than just still pictures. So, same thing here is the rigid 811A. This, the, the cutters on this one are the dies. They do have, they not quite as brand new, but still really appear to be in excellent condition. Now, this, these next few things came from a different, um, came from a different place. And that's why I'm wanting to make that clear. I started not even put this in, but I know it's the same type of tools. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it, and we're going to get them all listed up um, as well. This right here, I don't think it's in non-working condition by any means, but these are in rougher condition. You can see there's actually some packs of the actual dies, of the pipe dies. There's several packs, but like you see, this one is probably unusual. And I started to try to, uh, honestly, matter of fact, I got two more. I guess these might have come out of the pack with this. I'm gonna assume they came out of that pack. Three quarter, yep. So, I think this is still usable, but I don't do this kind of work, so <laughs> I get the feeling that a lot of people would come through here and tell me that this is totally unusable and maybe their standards are up a little bit higher and they just don't you know they might not want to use it like this somebody else that's probably for somebody that's doing this kind of work on a daily basis they probably wouldn't want to invest into something like this somebody else that might just need it just to get by with and i don't know it might be that more people don't need this is not the type of personal thing that people need to get by with this is just what we're going to find out from doing this but anyway <clears throat> my point is this is a, uh this looks like a two inch it's in rough condition too these are new in the plastic but they got a lot of rust this one and a quarter by far is the worst condition now, i would even say that those probably might not be usable i think these others are but that's just me um they may not be either and somebody like i say somebody might there's the three quarter set you got a half inch set one and a quarter which like i say is really bad condition the one inch looks pretty good to me honestly it's nothing like what i would want to go and pay full price for brand new but i mean i think it is usable that's my opinion one and a half looks pretty decent it's, it's, there's some rust there but you know the plastic's probably saved a lot of this and then we have this 
And I'm not even sure this looks like a Reamer. This is a Toledo brand. I don't see a model number on it. I just see a Toledo. I'll probably have to do a little more research to figure out. It looks like that uh, that Reamer over there. But uh, there's a double zero on there. But it's just, it's got a different shape to it. And it comes along. And I don't know yet if how this is going to be split up. At first I thought about splitting up these. And sell them separately. Because I'm... Like I say, these have sold really good before, but being that all of this is, all of these pieces over to the left are in um, a lower end condition, I think I decided to pretty much slot all of that together. We're going to see how it goes. I'll see if I'm going to include that piece or not. Uh, just the, all of the stuff to the right's already been listed on eBay. This one here, I ain't got listed yet. I got to do a little more research. That's a handle that goes with the. Uh, I think all of this fits together on a, on a big tool, but um, this is a rigid brand here. It looks all right. It's a looks like zero two eighty six maybe. Um, pipe threader. Somebody has looked it up and called it a pipe threader. I'll have to do more research to see if that's exactly what that is. You see this one here? I believe it's a one and a half inch. This piece is a, looks like it's a one and a half inch. I don't know how you can, if, if all of these go on this. I don't, like I say, I do not know, I don't know how this works, but I'll just show you what's included. If you're viewing this, you probably know a lot more than I do. That's a rigid one and a half inch. Here's your rigid made in the USA one inch. All of these do have the die, they do have the um, pipe dies in, the cutters in, or they, these first two do anyway. Uh, here you've got your one and a quarter. It's got the pieces in there. You got a three quarter with the pieces in there. The bigger one, two inch. If you need closer up pictures of anything, let me know. There's some spider webs in this one. This is the half inch. So you got half inch, three quarter, one inch, one and a quarter, one and a half, and two. Kind of along the same lines as what these were, if I remember right. You got your one and a quarter, one and a half, one, you got your half inch, exactly, same, same thing. There's a backup for each one of those. That's exactly how this is. There's one, two, three, four, five, six heads, or whatever you call those, and there were six packs of these which was like looks like a backup to go for each of them and again the one and a quarter does look in rough condition my opinion i don't know you just i'm not even gonna say it's usable or not i'm just you know that's why i'm making this video is so people can see the condition of these items that's why i'm making the video so do take it for how you think and uh, wrap up the video I just wanted to show and if I can if there's anything else I can do to take close-up pictures of these pipe tools for anybody so anybody can know what they're getting please let me know and I'll do my best